Hi folks, it's Moz here and I thought I would do a video of all the kits that I've pre-ordered after FX announced their 2024 lineup yesterday. So the first kit that went into my basket on the FX website was the Bristol Bulldog Mark II. They have designed this straight basically from the plans or the blueprints that were found in uh, Bristol where this uh, plane was designed. The Bristol Aeroplane Company. Uh, it's coming with 120 parts. There's three scheme options, including the, the RAAF option. The subtle rendered fabric skin effect, though it was basically made of metal and fabric. There's a multi-part cockpit, includes fuselage and framework, ammo bins and machine gun breaches. It was, as it said, designed based on exclusive access to a thousand plus original Bristol drawings. Because when they scanned it, they realized that the, the plane at Hendon wasn't quite right. So they basically tooled this, designed and tooled it straight from the plans. Details include the camera gun, wing mounted generators and bomb rack and a landing flare. I think one of the reasons why I'm going to buy this kit is because I just like the look of that engine. Because these Bristol Bulldogs were powered by the uh, Bristol Jupiter engine. I, have a, I really fancy having a go at this. The only thing that puts me off, like with most things, is rigging. I just do not like rigging. But hey, it's a 148. Maybe it's something that will get me out of my comfort zone and build one of these biplanes that were very important into war period these were these were the planes that ruled the skies between between world war one and world war two this is on the website for 28 pounds 99 so you get a fair few parts there for that and i think you're going to get yourself an excellent model the next model in my basket was the 1 to 72 scale consolidated b24h liberator this one comes with 278 parts, two scheme options for this one. First time the B24H has been dedicated new tool model at 172nd scale, so they've never done it before. There's a wheels up and down option as well. In, in, there's detailed interior and a bomb load included. You've got to remember that this was the first variant to truly take advantage of America's capacity for mass production. And it was claimed that Ford could produce liberators faster than the USA Air Force could process them into service. The price on this one is £46.99. It, yes, it's a fair sum for 1 to 72 scale kit, but I think it's a kit worth getting. And I know there's a lot of liberator fans out there who can't wait to get their hands on this scale model kit. The next model in my basket of, and I'm starting with the new toolings, by the way, as you can gather, is the 172nd scale Boeing Chinook HC-1. Now, I've seen Airfix box these before. I think a lot of us have, but they were the Italeri kit. This is the first time they've carved out metal and brought out this new tooling to bring to us this Boeing Chinook. It comes with 171 parts, there's two scheme options, including Bravo November, which is one of the most famous of the Chinooks out there. Gloriously, you're now gonna have the uh, model that you can pose the rear doors and it also comes with the ramp. Detailed interior, including all cabin seating, accurate representation of quilted surfaces in the cockpit. Looking forward to seeing that. Winches and underside hook options, conical and EAPS intake filter options, Composite rotors molded with the droop, which is what they did with the Sea King, the 148. They have the droop also. Again, it is a tad bit rich. It's at £33.99 for this kit, and uh, definitely one that I am going to be looking forward to building. Moving on to the starter sets, and they're bringing out in the starter set range. A Messerschmitt. They're bringing out the Messerschmitt BF109F4. Obviously, with the starter set, the the part count is very low, so it will come with about 30 parts. It will feature the distinctive round wheel wells in this uh, starter set. 
It will include the shadow stand to display the kit. And of course, with all of these kits, they come with the paints, the glue and the brushes. Remember that the 109 F4 was considered the best of the breed, unmarred by the lumps and bumps of later variants. Next in my basket, there's quite a few, I told you there was quite a few, I'm going for the Eurofighter Typhoon FGR4. This one's viewed around the, the UK airshow uh, circuits. And uh, this newly tooled starter set will include 43 parts and will come with a shadow stand to display the kit. This goes really well with last year's release of the F-35B Lightning II starter set. And I wouldn't be surprised in the future if Airfix put those two kits together in a bundle somewhere. The Typhoon has been in service since 2006 and I think this is a welcome addition to the FX starter set range. Another kit in my basket is another starter set. It's the North American P51D Mustang. This uh, starter set has 31 parts in, also comes with its own shadow stand and it's one that I'm looking forward to build. So the last starter set that I've pre-ordered from FX is obviously going to be the Shannon class lifeboat. The impressive kit includes 54 parts molded in gray plastic and it comes with a display display stand. This one is a representation of the newest class of lifeboat in the RNLI. It's designed with a service life of 25 years before a refit to extend the life for another 25. So this could be around for a good 50 years. And also with this kit, 90 pence or more will be donated to the RNLI every time a kit is purchased. So bravo to FX for doing that. That to me is one of the best starter sets or the most excited I've been for a starter set for a long time. Though saying that, I was very excited by the F-35B and it didn't let me down. I'm, I'm presuming the Typhoon's going to be up there as well with something that's going to be really nice and simple to build and you're going to enjoy building them if you are new to the hobby or even if you're not. They are very small part count and I promise you, once they're built up, painted, weathered and you've done what you like with it, you could hardly tell that it is a starter set with most of these kits that Airfix have released. While the other starter sets are selling for £11.99, the Shannon class lifeboat and the Typhoon are at the higher end. So they're gonna be £19.99, which was like the F-35B was £19.99. So those last two will probably be a bit more expensive but uh, you are getting an incredible model from them. You'll be, I'm pretty sure that those who build them will, will enjoy building them indeed. I'm gonna just mention other models that I've uh, purchased from Airfix or I've got in my pre-order list. It is of course the Bristol 192 Belvedere. It's, it's now into its vintage classic range. I do have an original box in here and I'm looking forward to getting the new boxes and just and maybe build them together using the old plastic and the new plastic and see if there's a difference with this new plastic that Airfix has been using for the past two or three years. Yes, it's come in. It's uh, £15.99, this uh, kit on the shelf. And it does come with fresh decals as well. So hopefully when you'll get that, you'll enjoy building it. One other kit is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-17 fresco this is the third time this has been released by fx but it comes with a very special scheme in fact this was one of the secret planes that operated out of area 51 the have drill project which was classified until 2013 so this example here on the box art is showing you a captured one in the american colors and for me it's one that i'd like to build so in theory this could you could build this as a what if but it actually was <laughs> very very uh interesting uh, concept and i think it's quite clever of airfix to release something like this so that you know with what's happening in the world at the moment you know they're doing a scheme like this anyways this kit is retailing for 17 pounds 99 I've also ordered the D-Day Fighters gift set. And I think this year we are remembering D-Day all around the country. So this is quite apt for a release. Airfix are putting five 
170 second scale fighters in one box and they're only charging £49.99 for this gift set. This kit comes with five complete models, a stand to house all five, paints, glue and brushes. What are the five? You'll be getting the uh, Spitfire Mark 9C, the American P51D Mustang, the Hawker Tempest Mark V, the Messerschmitt BF109 G6, and the Fokker Wolf FW190A-8. Those are the five you're getting. They are not starter sets. These are what they call their classic kits. They come with a more part count than the starter sets, but they are all very good tools. And in fact, the Hawker Tempest was one of my favorite builds last year when I built that one up. As I said, the tool's only been around maybe a year, year, maybe two years, but they're whacking that in this set. So five kits of $49.99, that makes them just under a tenner each. Not bad. And that also, as I said, comes with the glues, the paints, and the brushes. So the final two kits in my basket for pre-ordering from Airfix. And I'm a little bit excited because I know a lot of you don't like the quick builds, but I'm a bit of a fan of them, especially for giving them away for presents, is the uh, tanks that they're bringing out in the quick build range. But these are very special tanks because they're now in scale to what? we would have our models at. So first off, they have the Sherman Firefly in one to 35th scale. This one to 35th scale Sherman Firefly tank has maximum functionality for both display and playability with a traversing turret, working tracks and opening hatches. And it is 154 parts. This is Lego on steroids, seriously. It looks, it's gonna be phenomenal. When you get them, they're gonna look really good. In fact, I believe that one of these kits will end up in a Lego fan's hands, and once they build it, they'll wonder why ain't Lego doing a thing like this. They've also done the same with the Tiger one, and also comes with the Traverse and Turret, working tracks and opening hatches featuring astonishing 154 parts as well. And it also comes with sticker sheets. Yes, I know we like our decals, but sticker sheets are pretty much up there anyway. And uh, as I said, as soon as I get them, I'll be building them and putting them on my channel. And the price of these, the Sherman Firefly is $19.99, which I think is a very good value. And the Tiger One is also at that price, £19.99. So folks, there are my choices. Those are the kits that I have uh, pre-ordered off Airfix. The credit card has been uh, purely uh, hammered, I could say. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing them arrive on my workbench. I know the timings are a little bit out. I think the Typhoon won't be out till later in the year, but those are the model kits that I've bought now. I'm expecting another three releases from Airfix during the year. I think that the best is yet to come. I was really happy with the announcement. I, you know, like I said, for me, the Chinook was up there. The Liberator was there, the Bulldog, wasn't really my cup of tea but just looking at the assets available to us the pictures the engine looks great it really does look a lovely beast the the fact that the chinook is going to have um, a ramp and a poseable rear door is something that i think has been lacking from a lot of kits i can't remember a kit that had that but to be fair the last chinook i built was the matchbox one which was a 1986 release but i don't think Ravel actually put that one out there now i don't think they've boxed that one for years so seeing this fresh chinook and it does look great the assets look phenomenal on this one and uh yeah it i'm excited i understand no armor so expect some you know, some fresh armor to be arriving on our benches as well from airfix there's lots of things out there that i'd like to see no bear cat again <laughs> But I'll tell you this much, Airfix did release a couple of these. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. But so what? I think Airfix have done really well with this announcement. I'm excited for this year as I was last year. If you feel the same, put it in the comments below. It'll be really good to hear your thoughts on what Airfix have released so far. As I said, look at the comments I've seen. There's been a lot of positivity for it. Yes, I understand there is no Gannett, but that was last year. Let's look for the freshness of this year. 
and let's just see what ethics bring to us in the next 12 months and that's it from me thank you for watching if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe ring that bell click all to be notified when i release a new video a huge shout out goes to my channel members who help me financially with this channel. And if you'd like to help me this way, you can become a member by clicking join and select which membership tier you so wish. If you'd like to see the video where we did a live stream of the 2024 Airfix range launch, click here. If you'd like to see previous range launches that we've uh, done on this channel, click here.